guys you're welcome to another episode of taste bird kitchen it's your girl amazing grace and today we'll be making chicken egg sauce and eggplant guys i decided to show you how to make this recipe and i'm sure you are going to love it i know i know because i love it i know you are going to like it. it's very very delicious guys so let's dive right into the process on how to make chicken egg sauce and eggplant guys crepes so guys for my ingredients i have spring onion for garnishing two bobs of onion for the sauce i have salt i have seasoning powder i have some eggs i have ginger garlic i have thyme curry i have marinated chicken i marinated my chicken since yesterday because i wanted all the ingredients to combine and i'm using chicken breast for this recipe i have fresh tatashi i also have vegetable oil fresh pepper i have green bell pepper for garnishing yellow bell pepper for garnishing i will be trying a new ingredient eggplant i also have fresh tomato for this recipe guys there is no egg, egg sauce without fresh tomato and lastly i have yam which i'll be using for my chicken egg sauce and eggplant so guys let's start the cooking right now so guys the first thing i'll be doing is to grill my chicken so i'm going to grease my pan now the reason why i'm greasing my pan is because i don't want it to get sticky when my chicken is grilled like when i want to remove it i don't want it to be hard or get burnt so with this greasing now it's going to make it easier for me to remove my chicken when it is cooked so guys i'm just going to transfer it to the oven right now and allow it to grill properly before bringing it out so guys the next thing i'll be doing is to cut and peel my yam and then wash and boil it so whenever i'm buying yam or purchasing yam in the market i always like going for the one that is not going to give me tough time when trying to cut and peel it so i like going for something simple because me i don't like stress in my life so i'm just going to go ahead now cut them into bites and then peel it so guys another important thing you need to know or to take note of when peeling your yam is to always put your yam in a bowl that has water in it this is to prevent it from turning black or brown when peeling this point i'm done peeling my yam and i'm just going to go ahead wash it put it in your pot and then add water to it when um boiling or cooking your yam always make sure your water is not more than the yam let everything be balanced i remember when i was much younger my mom always hits me hard because i always overfill my pot with water and the water is always more than the yam at the end of the day the yam is going to get soaked so always make sure your yam and the water is equal so at this point you can go ahead and add your salt to it your salt should be to taste not too much and then you can now start boiling your yam so the next thing i'll be doing is to blend my fresh pepper and my tatashi so behind the scene i have already washed and remove the seeds from the tatashi remember i told you guys in our last video that using tatashi and the seeds to cook is not healthy for our body so always take it off remove it before blending it so i'm just going to go ahead now and blend it so guys because we are making egg sauce we don't want our tomatoes blended i want to just chop it because i want to be seeing tomato in it you know egg sauce comes out finer when your tomato is being chopped and not blended because we are not making egg stew we are making egg sauce so i'll be chopping my tomato and this is the process so up next guys I'll be chopping my garlic and onion into tiny pieces. So for some reason when making my egg sauce or stew, I do not like to blend my garlic. I like chopping it into tiny bites. And I forgot to tell you guys, while blending my tatashi and fresh pepper, I added my ginger to it. I blended my ginger also with it. So 
so the next thing i'll be prepping is my yellow bell pepper and my green bell pepper guys it's really really important for you to prep your things down before you start your cooking process because it's going to make your cooking simple and easy you won't get tired of cooking when you do it like this when you prep everything down it's going to be easy especially when you don't have anybody to assist you with your cooking the first thing you do first is to prep your things down before the cooking process so to avoid you being tired or getting um, unnecessary heat when it's time for you to add, add one of the ingredients behind the scene i have already sieved out the water for my yam it is well cooked i'm just going to set it aside and then start making my sauce so the first thing you need to do in your when making your sauce is to add a clean pot on fire allow it to heat for some few seconds and then add your vegetable oil up next is adding your onion and your garlic allow it to stir fry for about two minutes before adding another ingredient so up next i'll be adding my fresh tomato my fresh tatashi and fresh pepper that was blended i'm going to add it together to the onion and then stir it together and allow it to cook until the excess water is being reduced So at this point, I'll be adding my eggplant. So guys, do you know that eggplant is packed with so many health benefits? For instance, it contains vitamins and minerals. It also aids in digestion. It is also good for cancer. So if you have not been eating eggplant, start doing it because it is very, very healthy so guys do you remember our grilled chicken it is well grilled i'm just going to take it off from the oven and then i'll shred it into tiny pieces so that everybody will have a, a taste of the chicken when eating okay so this is my chicken it is well shredded and is ready to be added to the sauce after adding your chicken stay properly so all the ingredients will mix together So the next thing I'm going to be doing is to add my seasoning powder and up next I'll be adding my thyme and next is going to be my curry and I'm going to stir it properly so all the spices I've added is going to enter the sauce properly. So up next guys, I'll be adding my egg. So behind the scene, I've already break and beat my egg. So I'm just going to go ahead and add it now. Whenever you add your egg to your sauce, don't stay immediately to avoid your egg coming out looking scattered. And also, always low your heat whenever you add your egg to avoid it from getting burnt. So guys, up next, I'm just going to go ahead and add my green bell pepper and my yellow bell pepper, which I earlier told you guys is for garnishing. So guys, our egg is well cooked. It is ready. I'm just going to go ahead and stir it now. Please, when stirring your egg, don't over stir it. You are going to pamper it like a newborn baby so everything doesn't scatter. So just stir it carefully. I hope you love what you're seeing. And at this point, if you have not liked this video, I don't know what you're waiting for. Please go ahead and subscribe. Hit the notification bell to be among the first set of people to get my video whenever it drops. Like and comment on it. And whenever you try this recipe let me know what you think about it let me know what your family members think about it thank you for watching see you in our next video i love you guys bye bye